I'm in one of the hottest neighborhoods in Raleigh. This particular zip code and this particular street is right by a major clubhouse on a golf course. But anyway, this customer of mine just bought this house and it was a bidding war. As you can tell, I got some concrete bags there, four by four post. <clears throat> but anyway, there was a bidding war on this house. And my customer that I just worked on their house, they got up for sale, won the bid on this place. And this is going to be turning into a major project. But some of the work that was done here was just absolutely terrible. Number one is this fence during the storm blew down. Okay. And they called me up and said, Hey, Tom, the house we just bought, um, the storm that we just had this weekend. Well, guess what? It just destroyed our fence. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine buying a house, just buying a house in a bidding war? And then the same week they're moving in, they're moving in now. And the storm takes out, <laughs> takes out the fence. Well, I started digging around and guess what? Well, no wonder it blew over because guess what they did? Well, let me say it this way. Guess what they didn't do? They didn't put any concrete and there's no four by four post in here. Nothing. They just stuck the damn vinyl post right into the ground. And look at, look how deep it is or how deep it isn't. Look at that. <laughs> you, can, you can see the ground on the other side. I Sorry, it's on the grass, but believe me, there's nothing in there. All right, let's get set up. I've been here all morning. I had to run back to Lowe's. All right, let's open this garage door. Like I said, they're, they're moving in. I got my workstation over here. We're getting laid out. All the hardware, all the screws from the old fence. My basic stuff that I use all the time. I know the fan's running, so you'll hear some background noise. Hold on. Cut that off. All my power, charging, bolts, screws, brad nails, glue, uh, screws, pencils, tape measure, lumber. And I like it when I have access to a garage when I'm working because this makes it so much more convenient. Now, what I've got to do is I've got to duplicate the design, as you can tell, but I'm going to make the gate out of wood. This is going to be made out of wood. You cannot buy a pre-made vinyl fence panel. You have to pre-order it. And being that this was an emergency situation, we ain't got to go through all that pre-ordering stuff. It's just not, it would never get here. Uh, it would take weeks to get here. So anyway, good morning. Yeah, it's still morning. It's only like 1040 in the morning. Another garage. <laughs> I like garages. They're fun. Uh, you know, it's got some space to work in. I like that. And uh, stay out of the sun because tomorrow I'm going to be here for a couple, three days because I've got some other things I've got to do to this house. Like the previous owners, they didn't do a lot of maintenance on the outside of this house. The inside looks really great. It's all custom and everything. But you can see the problems here. And it's all over. I mean, nowhere you look. Anywhere you look. It's a absolute mess. So I told them we need to remove these planter boxes. This is the next project here because this whole exterior porch is this way it's just it's just beat up man lack of maintenance there's cracks and everything you know look at this it just goes everywhere this is all this is all rotted out already both both sides so i already told them they got to put new caps on all, all this stuff 
And, uh, but yeah, even in the front of the house needs some work too. But this is the backyard. It's pretty, uh, very, pretty unimpressive to be honest with you. But you know, it's just a clean slate to work from. The main thing is getting this fence uh, put back up and building this gate because they've got big dogs and they want to make sure everything's secure. So, and they got kids. So, you know, we got to get that fixed for them. Oh man, some of the things that people do. And I'll tell you, let me show you something else. This is the only one they put a little bit of concrete in, just a little bit. But this thing, and that's from the storm. It just blew it so hard. It literally just tore, pretty much tore everything off, you know? So I had to just a few screws I had to take out and then I took all those panels that were pretty much mangled and set them over to the side. But the, uh, but the, uh, the door, the gate, oh, it was destroyed. And I think before they sold the house or right before, anyway, somewhere along the line, the gate got blown down a street or something happened to it. But uh, they said they found pieces of it here and there. <laughs> anyway, we had a big, big, a really big storm here in Raleigh and uh, over the weekend, last weekend, and it was like 50 mile an hour to 80 mile an hour winds, uh, level two threat. And believe me, there was a lot of power. It was like 30,000 people without power for like four days. So we, we get our storms around here. Believe me, we get storms, man. <laughs> so this was so, just so poorly put together that it just didn't hold up. That's all it boils down to. Okay, let me get back at it. Like I said, I got everything staged. It's the way I like to work, man. It's my own private little work area. And uh, this, this way I can just stay out of the heat keep my fan running, and have some fun. All right, guys, talk to you later. Leave those comments. Hope you're having a great day. Stay blessed. Stay tuned. This is Tom. You know me. Out of here.